Okay, so this is Mars and this is Earth. For some reason, a lot of rich people, including Elon Musk, want to do this. Yes! 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 So today, I want to talk about why, in my opinion, putting people on Mars is a stupid idea for the most part, but I will be fair and present the reason for why we should, so that you can make your own mind up. Without further ado, let's start. Imagine you were planning a once-in-a-lifetime vacation to a remote, breathtaking island. You've heard stories about the stunning landscapes and the unique wildlife, but as you start looking into the logistics, you realise that this dream vacation comes with a hefty price tag. The cost of transportation, accommodation and supplies that you need are astronomical. Now imagine that this island that you want to go to was a funny little place called Mars. The point I'm trying to make is that sending someone to Mars is very expensive. In fact, this little vacation would cost around a hundred billion dollars. This is why we have massive problems on earth such as climate change, poverty and countless other problems that are much more pressing than sending a guy to Mars. Now obviously I get the argument that humans are explorers by nature and that we should go to Mars just because it's there. Don't get me wrong, I would also be very proud of society if we filmed someone playing Minecraft on Mars. That would be a banger video. But is it really necessary? If you want to be Dora the Explorer then go explore the depths of the oceans. I made a YouTube short the other day about this topic and I got a comment saying oh, explore Exploring oceans is also important, finding bigger fish at the bottom isn't as cool as finding alien stuff. I'll be honest with you, unless you believe in all the conspiracy theories, the chances that we will find alien stuff on Mars is very unlikely. And look, I'm not saying that exploring our oceans is very cool or interesting, but one, at least in my opinion, is better than looking at a bunch of red rocks, and two, you could actually benefit from exploring the oceans, from learning more about how oceans play a role in the climate patterns, the potential resources up for grabs, to even even possible medical discoveries. Going to Mars can't really help the average person much. I mean, mining on Mars could, but even then, we don't really need people on Mars to do that if autonomous robots will become advanced enough in the future. All in all, when it comes to return on investment, at least today, all that $100 billion it would take to send someone to Mars could be spent in better ways on Earth. This is just one reason why I think sending people to Mars is stupid. However, if we imagine that we live in the perfect world where money isn't a problem, there would still be a big issue. The environment on Mars is not made for humans. It doesn't have nice sunshine and rainbows or this cool thing called oxygen that we need to breathe. You know what? It's got something much better. Sandstorms, no protection from sun's radiation, a thin atmosphere, and the list goes on. What a lovely vacation spot. No, but actually, putting people in this harsh and unpredictable environment is very dangerous, obviously. We would be putting the astronauts' health and safety in danger. And I mean, I can't really imagine living in one of Elon Musk's Martian cities and looking out the window and seeing this. Look, humans are simply not built for Mars, which also shoots down the argument that colonizing Mars will save us from overpopulation population on earth. It just won't. But even if it could, if in some way we could bring billions of people to Mars, again, in my opinion it's kind of impossible, they will still suffer if they were to stay here for the long term, both physically and mentally. Due to the three times weak gravity on Mars, the people who go there will develop muscle problems and bone density loss. Obviously we could solve these problems by simply making everyone to go to the gym, which has shown to at least work on the ISS to mitigate these risks. However, if there is a city of people, I doubt that all of them will want to do this every day. It's one thing to have a few astronauts comply, but an entire colony of gym goers is quite incomprehensible. Unless of course they're forced to, which would undermine their human rights. But hey, Elon Musk has a plan I guess. Staying on Mars for the long term will also lead to mental problems, which could also be caused by the fact that they are stuck in an inflatable bubble on a hostile planet where they can't go outside, at least without a whole spacesuit. Also, especially for the first astronauts who get to Mars, psychological isolation will be a big problem. You would have to be another level of mentally strong to live on Mars. Away from your family, possibly forever. You can only interact with a small number of people. Again, possibly forever. This could drive anyone insane. But you know what? It's in the name of exploration. Now, that probably sounded quite sad and gloomy, and you may have already made your mind up about this whole is sending people to Mars a good idea debate. However, what I probably should have mentioned is that theoretically, these challenges can all be solved through technology. I mean, if humans are good at something, it's probably solving challenges. Now I want to talk about some of the reasons in favour of sending people to Mars. One reason is the advancement in technology, which can trickle down into our own lives, benefiting us on Earth. Due to the nature of sending people to Mars, there are a lot of existing technologies which would have to be improved or further developed in order to ensure that the astronauts landing on Mars are safe. These technologies include propulsion systems, life support systems, advanced materials, energy generation, 
autonomous robots, environmental monitoring, agriculture, and so on. All of these technologies help us in our daily lives today, so developing them further would make our lives a lot better. For example, to make life sustainable on Mars, we need to come up with a way to recycle as much as possible since we can't just send more every week. If we found a solution to this problem, we could use it on Earth as well to make ourselves more sustainable and more environmentally friendly. Or if we develop better ways to contact Mars from Earth through lasers or some other future technology, we can improve the global communication networks that we have on Earth, such as the internet. And you can make this case for pretty much any other technology, from new types of vehicles to new types of medicine, pretty much anything. Another reason in favor of sending to Mars is having a backup in case something happens on Earth. Now I know I just spent like half the video talking about why humans are not built for Mars and that they will probably live a very dystopian life if they were to live there, but there is a good argument still that we need a backup planet. Every day it seems we are getting closer to some kind of apocalypse on Earth, whether it's a nuclear war or climate change or Yellowstone. Having a backup planet just in case something was to happen could be a good idea simply to ensure our species survives. At the end of the day, we are here enough to provide a better future for our descendants and while in my opinion a large-scale evacuation of Earth is pretty much impossible. Maybe in 100 years, technology will have advanced enough for us to be able to do so. But to be able to develop these futuristic technologies, we will need a lot of engineers and scientists. And probably the best way to increase the amount of engineers and scientists is by inspiring them, which is the next reason in favor of sending people to Mars. Seeing a video of a person stepping foot on Mars is probably gonna be the highlight of the century. It will be the biggest achievement in human history, at least so far, and we are going to witness it. Just imagine how big of an impact this would have on the kids who watch the Mars landing. It would fill them with unlimited amounts of inspiration and so they are likely going to want to contribute to developing the next big thing like a mission to Saturn or something. It will also inspire existing engineers and show them what can be possible. This will increase the amount of innovation across the board in pretty much every single industry which will not only improve our own lives but will drive future economic growth and will create new opportunities for future generations. So now I've given you enough information for you to make your own mind up about whether sending people to Mars is a a good idea or not. Let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.